Hey everyone, there's a new episode of New York 360 coming up next. I'm talking to Stacey Bendette from Alice and Olivia and hanging out with Dylan Radigan from Fast Money. So don't go anywhere. Welcome to New York 360. I'm your host, Amy Palmer, and today we're hanging out at the Inn at Little West 12th Street in the Meatpacking District. First up on today's show is Stacey Bendette. She's the designer of Alice and Olivia, which has a huge following amongst Hollywood starlets and fashionistas. And with one visit to her store in Bryant Park, it's easy to see why. I'm here in this beautiful store right by Bryant Park, and the fashions are so amazing and beautiful and perfect for the quintessential city girl. Tell me a little bit about what we can find in your line. Well, the Alice and Olivia collection is definitely about sort of things you can wear out, things you can wear during the day. It's very much a mix and match. Um, and for fall, everything in the store is, you know, we've got party dresses, we've got great high-waisted pants, we've got great coats. So Stacy, tell me how you got started. Before I started making pants, I actually built websites, and I had met Andrew Rosen from Theory, who is now my partner. You know, he saw these crazy pants I was making, and he said, you know, Theory started as just pants. I'd like to sort of get involved and help you enable this to evolve. What was it about those pants that were different than everything else that every girl looks for in a department store? You know, what I've always tried to do is to sort of focus on the fit. Every time a girl puts on my pants, I want her to say, wow, these make me feel sexy, these make me feel good, these are a great fit. Where does your confidence come from? You know, I started this when I was 24, 23 years old, and it was kind of like, what do I have to lose? All right, let's bring out the clothes, which is okay. the, the main focus My here. My favorite part. <laughs> now tell me about the high-waisted versus the low-waisted. I would say that high-waisted is a sort of dominant pant trend, just sort of chic, very 70s styled, big belts. There's sort of this emerging kind of looser boy trouser look that's been around a lot too, and that's sort of what uh, this style is. And party dresses, we're coming upon the party season. Everyone needs a cute little dress. What are you showing now in your line? Fall has like this sort of more tonal sequin and like golds and neutrals and they're great party dresses. If you tell a New York girl the two things she needs before she heads out. If it's basics, it's a great coat and a great pair of pants. And in terms of dresses, I would say don't be afraid to sparkle for the season. Check out AliceAndOlivia.com. Now, did you know that there are more hairstyling products, nail polish, and sun care sold in New York than in any other state? With sales like that, busy New Yorkers need a beauty website that provides them with one-stop shopping. Enter Beauty.com. I went to their launch event where I got tips from beauty experts and so much more. I'm here with Tina Turnbow, the celebrity makeup artist here at Beauty.com. Tell me about today's event. Women like to have a little treat in New York of working hard and the stress and the pace of everything. You come in here and it's like a little beauty oasis. It's about feeling good, making beautifying, free samples, information, more stuff about the site. Tell me about the website. The website is a great tool for women to order all their beauty products skincare, hair care. After learning all about the site, we headed to Tina's makeup station where she showed me how the pros do it. Working on a smoky eye using colors instead of typical black or gray. I'm using a purpley blue. I'm gonna do a neutral lip. I just put a little bit of that on first just to give the lips a little moisture. So this is a bronzer and cheek color all in one. Okay, so here I am at the Frederick Parkai Hair Station. I need some help with my own situation here. My hair is always has flyaways. My cameraman, Elliot, is always telling me that I have serious flyaways and we need to do something about it. So I'm here with Lisa, who's going to help me with some great Frederick Mackay products. Yes. There's a few different options that you can use. For today, we're going to use something a little bit newer. It's from our product line, Cloth. And what it is, it has a memory hold that'll keep your style for you all day. Rub it in your hands first, and always kind of start towards the back of your hair because you don't want to make it too heavy. Okay. Then at the end, you want to lightly go over where the flyaways are. Elliot, how does it look? Does it look a lot better? 
<laughs> She's ready. She says, yeah. We're ready. So make sure you head to beauty.com where you can find all of these products and more. Unless you've been hiding under a rock these days, you know that the Disney Channel is behind some very successful franchises. From High School Musical 2 to Hannah Montana, the network is creating superstars and brands that are a huge hit with millions of kids around the world. One of those hits are the Jonas Brothers. Carolina Bermudez caught up with the band at the Z Lounge where they perform for their fans. Amy, I'm here at Z100 Studios where I'm gonna get a chance to talk to the super hot teen sensations, the Jonas Brothers. So for those people who don't know about the Jonas Brothers, give us a little bit of background. Tell us where you're from and how you guys all kind of formed this band. All right, well, it kind of started with Nick. Yeah. Um, actually, um, I was doing some Broadway shows at the time when I recorded a song. Uh, someone heard a record label wanted to sign me. And, um, you know, I started working on a uh, solo project and uh, wrote a couple songs for it. I actually wrote a song with them, and out of that it became a group project. And this all started at the tender age of? Um, I got signed, I think, when I was 12 to yeah. Columbia. Yeah, he's 12 and he's getting signed to a major <laughs> label. That is yeah. amazing. I came up all for you, now my heart's in two. You guys were on tour with Hannah Montana, Ma yep. Miley Cyrus. I have to put to rest a couple of rumors now. Is it true that you and Miley Cyrus are dating? Is uh, that lots of rumors always going around? Uh, actually, right now we're just kind of like hanging out on the road, having fun. We'll see what happens. Well, talk about life on the road. I heard you guys have a studio bus that you guys are recording your next album on. How is that? We got a Gibson tour bus. Uh, we retrofitted it to be a studio, and we brought our producer John Fields out on the road, and he basically set up shop in, in there and um, did his thing. We recorded. You know, like uh, all the drum ideas and, and partial vocals, but all the guitars, all the bass, all that. And then for a day, we went into a real studio and recorded. And just remember that if you ever need a love interest for any of your videos, I'm always right. willing and available. Okay. I live okay. in New Jersey, so you guys make sure that you there take you my go. number before you leave. Oh, okay. okay. I can, we can make that. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Be sure to pick up the Jonas Brothers self-titled album or go to JonasBrothers.com. After the break, Sam Edis hangs out with supermodel Petronem Kova and I visit the set of CNBC's Fast Money. Stay tuned. Clothing provided by Chloe and Reese.